so in this video we'll be seeing how to hide any process from task manager in the previous videos we have seen iit hooking and anti query system information so in this video we are going to mix those two concepts and uh, hide any process from task manager so before that uh, if you had watched if you had not watched those videos i highly recommend to watch those videos so let's also see what we are going to hear so after running the anti query system information function you will get a, uh, a buffer which you can parse the system process uh, information structures so if you process uh, parse these structures so first one you will get is the base address so this base address you will have a structure uh the first element is next entry offset so what this mean is this will be the offset to the next process structure so this process is cmd.exe so if you add this next entry offset value to the base address you will get to the next one and here you will have offset another offset which points to the next process so here let's say uh, notepad.exe now if you add this offset to this base address you will get pointer to the next you will get pointer to the next process so like that now what we are going to do is we are going to modify this offset to point to the uh, ne uh, next one so that is uh, skipping this notepad so if we want to hide the notepad.exe now we will go on parsing uh, all the processes and we are going to maintain two pointers one is the previous one and the next one is the current one if the current process is the notepad.exe then we are going to overwrite this offset uh, to point this one so to point actually this process so how do we point this one so you can add these two offsets or you can subtract these two base addresses and it will give you the offset and you can add this one and you will get the direct offset from this one to this one so we are skipping this notepad.exe so task manager upon uh, getting the information it will parse through the processes and it will show you upon parsing it will see the offset is pointing to this process and it will skip the notepad.exe so that is the concept here we are just overwriting the next entry offset of the previous process uh, of the process we want to skip and overriding with the uh, next one so that this will be uh, hidden from the uh, task manager so i have already written the code i am going to show you uh, a walkthrough uh, this is also very lengthy code so this is the dll main function we are going to generate the dll temp dll dot dll like in the same video or like in the previous videos uh, upon uh, injecting this dll our dll main function gets executed if the reason is one that means we uh, process got attached this one. so this has got attached to the process then we are going to define uh, the dll name function and the hooked function so we are going to hook this function so that's why this uh, has been assigned to this variable now we are getting the process base address and also the temp dll base address we are storing in these variables and we are parsing the imports and we have all the imports and we are going to open our current process uh, by getting the current process id and opening that process so we have the imports and the exports and we also want to calculate the legit dll imports so that is the uh, nt dll imports and we want to calculate at which uh, address our nt query system information function is there so we are uh, iterating over the legit dll imports 
and this function is equals to legit function to hook so that is we have defined here the variable and if this is the function then we are going to copy the uh, base uh, the function address and the uh, first thunk address so why the first thunk we want to overwrite the at that uh, address to the our malicious function so that's why we want two values the first thunk address and the actual address so we have this uh, rigid uh, data imports and we are getting these uh, values first thunk address and original address and we are also calculating the our uh, our function address where uh, that is the test to uh, where it is residing in our temp dll so that's what we will be calculating here uh, malicious function in the dll exports so we got the malicious address we want to overwrite the this first thunk address with this address so that when the task manager call the entity query system information our malicious hooked function will get executed uh, we are changing the uh, memory protections using virtual protect x and then we are uh, here we are just printing out then then we are going to uh, this is just uh, making sure that the address have been uh, written correctly we are just printing now let's go to the test to function so here text to function the task manager will uh, call the parameters so we'll push the parameters under the stack and those values will be copied onto this uh, test to function if the sysinfo is equals to 5 so that is the first parameter that is system process uh, information if the task manager is asked for that then we are going to uh, actually uh, execute this one so using the function pointer so there is a original address right so at the original address there is a original entity query information process uh, system information so we are going to get that address and we are going to uh, cache this as a function pointer of these parameters and then we are going to call that function using this parameters so we are getting the function at that original address and we are using that original function and with these parameters so it's like uh, we are actually doing uh, calling the original function but afterwards we will be modifying uh, i have created a vector of the system process information but this did not come helpful uh, and then we are going to have the original base base address and another is previous address so we are going to maintain two addresses previous address and the next address uh, at the first one the previous address and the next address will point to the first one upon reading upon parsing this as uh, system process information we are going to uh, increment this uh, next address so while spi dot next entry offset so when we re when we read the next entry offset as zero that means that is the ending one so we are reading uh, in the next address so we will be reading uh, this one this one this one and this one and so on and we are parsing this uh, into the spi variable that is system process information and then we are reading that uh, string so the process string so we have seen this in the previous videos image name dot buffer dot zero which contains pointer to unicode string so that's why we are using uto 16 and here we will get the process name now we can compare this one if the process name is equals to cmd dot exe then we are going to change the previous process next entry offset so the uh, we are going to read the previous offset using the previous address so that's why we are keeping the track of the previous uh, addresses so that we can read the next entry offset of the previous address using the read process memory so after reading we will be saving in the previous offset and then finally we are changing the uh, uh, memory protections to write the content and we are going to write with the uh, with this addition so here we can see uh, 
I am adding here. So this is the from the previous offset and this is the next entry offset from here. So, so let's say this is the previous and this is the next and this is the this previous offset is this one and the next entry offset is this one so if you add both of these you will get offset to the next one and we are going to write this value in here so that this will point to this one so we are writing that one so that's it and at last we are incrementing this next addresses so this is the code let's go and see uh, if this works so i think uh, the latest compiled code have the cmd.exe you can change this to notepad.exe as well so let's run this one so simple dl and injection and here we can see a uh, command processor cmd.exe copy as path now we need to give the process id of task manager 4748 Uh, now if I hit enter the cmd.exe should disappear and we can see the cmd.exe has been successfully disappeared now we don't see that windows command processor you can change this one to notepad.exe as 